So which really is better? Should we change to entering from fair value gaps or should we stick with trading from order blocks? In this video, we will go over both cases and come to a very important conclusion backed by all important backtesting data. For this comparison, we will be looking at the same trades on GBPUSD during January 2023. So let's start off by looking at entering from fair value gaps. So this example here goes over a sell trade on GBPUSD. So if we look into why we took this trade in the first place very quickly then, we can see that we actually have a ton of liquidity being built up over an extended period of time over here. And what I was looking for was a liquidity grab and then a breaker structure following this liquidity being taken. As we can see that the liquidity was taken and then we get that breaker structure from this point here where candles actually closed below. And that's what I was looking for, for confirmation of a good breaker structure. Now, after this comes the question of where do we enter from? And in this example, I was gonna go and enter from a fair value gap. So let's see what that would look like. So if I just highlight the fair value gap very quickly, we can clearly see it's between this candle high over here to this low of this candle there. So that is the fair value gap that remains. And as you can see, it's quite a big fair value gap. And this presents a problem for us because when it comes to entering off the fair value gap, we have to cover this entire area. So if I just show you very quickly, here we can see that this whole entire area has to be covered so that begs the question where do we put our stop loss so i could put my stop loss here and that you know covers the entire fair value gap but we do have a major problem and that is this candle here is an order block and if that's an order block then would price and could price react from the order block of course it can so we need to be very careful in this case and so essentially what i would be looking to do is putting my stop loss just at the high there. I don't put it above, I just put it exactly at the high just so that if price does come in, I have space and area for price to come in and retrace into this order block before it can uh, or uh, moves to the downside. And so essentially that is the biggest problem with entering with a fair value gap is the fact that it actually ruins your risk reward. Now, for example, if you're a bit more risk loving, then what you can do is you can put your stop loss just above but as you'll see in this example, you would get taken out in this case. So if I just put my stop loss back to where it was, we can see that the risk reward for this trade with the target being at this low here, we will target that there would be a 2.56, which isn't actually the best risk reward. If I go ahead and fast forward, we can see we get tapped in initially and it comes in this much and then price pushes up higher and we can see price pushes up into this order block a little bit. So even if your stop loss was here, you would get taken out of this position. And now that is obviously the major problem when it comes to entering off of fair value gaps. But by ensuring your stop loss is above the order block or the, the candle before the imbalance, you are protecting yourself from this. And as you can see for the rest of the trade, it plays out very nicely and goes and hits target. This is actually a trade that I took myself during this month and it's a system or one of the systems that I trade. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this same trade, but this time we'll be entering off of the order block to compare exactly what the differences are. But just for a very quick overview, we can see we have a larger stop loss and a smaller risk to reward. Now let's have a look at this trade, but we enter from the order block itself. So when it comes to entering off the order block, we wanna get the high and the low and then just push it out. And as we can see, price actually taps into this very, very nicely. Now, when it comes to looking at your stop loss, we're going to put it at the bottom of that candle. And then our stop loss is going to be at the, either the high of the candle or a very close relative high. And so I'm gonna go for the relative high because that's what I normally did and that's what I did for this trade. And I always give it 0.5 pip spread just to protect myself from, you know, broker spreads and stuff like that. So there we go. So my stop loss is now 4.9 compared to what it was previously in the previous example. And if we look at the target now and then compare the risk reward, we can see it's very clear that my target is 5.39R, which is absolutely way more better, near enough double the previous risk reward when compared to entering off of fair value gaps alone. So as you can see in this example, entering off an order block is better for me. And as a very quick summary, we can clearly see I have a smaller stop loss and better risk to reward. So in this case, it would have been more beneficial for me to enter off an order block rather than entering off of fair value gaps. 
And this brings us very, very nicely onto looking at the backtesting data where I backtested GBP USD, looking at whether it will be better for me to enter off of fair value gaps or order blocks. So let's take a look at what the data says. The sponsor for today's video is VantageFX. They are my personal broker and I've been using them since 2018. They are reliable and they aren't like other brokers that constantly send you emails or try and call you. They are FCA regulated as well, which is a good thing. And they do offer a trading account with raw ECN spread, which is always good as well, especially for those of you that trade SMC. So if you are looking for a broker, for personal account definitely check them out the link is in my description below okay so the backtesting software i'm using here is trader edge the link is in my description below so go check them out but let's have a look at the backtesting results so over here we can see that we have the backtesting results for gu january 2023 by entering from order blocks and what we can see is we have a 9.8 percent profit for the month we've taken four trades in total out of the four trades we've won three and we've lost one let's have a look at other things like the profit factor which is 10.61 and the edge score which is basically a score that this platform trader edge gives you in terms of how good your backtesting uh, results are and you can see stuff like profit per trade loss per trade etc etc now because these are the same trades that we're testing on stuff like consecutive wins and consecutive losses are all going to be the same including the number of trades we've taken and how many we've won how many we lost but the key thing to look at is the overall PL for the month here is 9.88% by taking trades from order blocks compared to 8.86% when taking trades from fair value gap. So here we can see there's a clear decrease in PL by taking trades from fair value gaps. Now, obviously, this is for this strategy, and this might not be the case for your strategy, but this is something very interesting that I've observed. What else can we see? We can also see that the profit factor is less and that's because we are using a larger stop loss, right? Although the losses and the amount loss won't change because I do my risk based on percentage. So 1% could be 15 pips, 5 pips, 10 pips, it doesn't really matter, I'll always lose 1%. So that's why that's the same. But you can see profit per trade is lower, it's 3.51%. That's almost 0.5% per trade less by taking trades from a fair value gap than an order block. And all this data is very important because it allows me and makes me understand that for this strategy i'm actually better off taking trades using order blocks as my entry criteria and my entry method and strategy compared to taking trades using fair value gaps as my entry criteria method or strategy and so this is something that i've observed from my back testing and it's something that you should go ahead and back test as well and see which is actually better for you a lot of people will just enter from fair value gaps without even looking and vice versa for order blocks as well so it's always good to check and let the data speak and make a decision for you and finally that brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one